divine masculine and divine feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. So divine masculine, I am here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and get no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it to get dirt. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine masculine. Get no fit nucks. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Toronto. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shots. Love ya. All right, Divine Masculine. Let's get started, boo. Give me some messages here for Divine Masculine. The energy he's going to be in and how he'll be feeling about himself in the next seven days. One for Divine Masculine, please. All right. Unconditional love came out. This Nana and Big Mama, this banana pudding, sweet potato pie, all of that, right? And that came out with the full car. That's what these shoes are. Uh, Divine Masculine, looks like you're about to take a leap towards unconditional love, G. Unconditional love. Tell me how far will you go, girl? Yeah, y'all always get that high five song. But you skirt. But I expect to see this with this taking a leap of faith. So this is actually normal uh, in regards to this. This is you. Uh, some of you guys are going to make up with a baby's mother, your mother, a maternal figure. Or this is you going towards unconditional love, G. <clears throat> A lot of y'all, uh, this is love like a romantic thing. And some of y'all are worried that some fuck shit gonna catch up to you or like you're gonna go back to your old ways or I feel like you really want whatever this is, but you're worried that you're gonna fuck it up. Or somebody else is divine masculine. If it's not you, okay? It could be another feminine here. <clears throat> Give me another one here. Stick a fork in it is done is what that is. Yeah, I feel like that's you uh, being done wherever you are or whatever you've been doing. Like, let's just say this is you quitting a job and you're like, fuck it, I'm about to work for myself. I've always wanted to. Something I'd love to do, I'm going to do it. Stick a fork in that other shit is done. Or a relationship. It was cool while it lasted, but I'm done with this shit. I'm about to go where I really want to go, says Divine Masculine. Or whoever the fuck. I feel like you made a decision or you will be in the next seven days. To go towards some person place mm -hmm. this is a really good school yeah look at you look at you on the football team this is how you run out we are the champions my friends yeah okay uh <laughs> yeah divine masculine you going to the school g is what this is somebody's allergic to roses or rosemary I don't know, something like that. Or somebody's mom's name is Rose or Rosemary or some woman. I don't know. Rose or Rosemary could be significant divine masculine. Or they just talking about Titanic because now they're showing me Rose and Jack. So I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put something on unconditional love here. Nana and Big Mama. Why is this here for divine masculine in the next seven days? Prince of this, the day trader. Somebody's about to offer a token of love, G. But I still feel like uh, something's being traded out for something else, the day trader. So whatever was not working out anymore, divine masculine, it's like, uh, yeah, like how they do like the race trade and shit. They showed me, uh, what was that, Dave Chappelle and shit? Yeah, almost like that. Like I will trade this for this. Some of you guys just are actually into stocks and trading and things like that. But I see you guys trading in a stale something for a fresh something, Divine Masculine. Some of you guys may be getting advice from your mothers or a, a maternal figure on how to do this or something like that. I feel like you're closing one chapter to begin another one here. 
Yeah, you bored as fuck wherever you at, boy. For real. It's a whole lot of shit you'd like to do. Yeah, you trying to go towards somebody. This person uh, is looking at you or sees you for who you are too, Divine Masculine. The person you're going towards or they will see you for who you are, for sure. Like uh, the whole you. Y'all have been sitting on this offer, whatever this is, or whoever this is, has been sitting on this offer here. Put something on this uh, fool here. Temperance card. This is my spirit guide card. This is reconciliation. This is kind of getting your shit together, being patient. But I feel like somebody's been patient long enough because it's here with the fool card. So it's a, uh, there's like a spiritual push here, divine masculine, in the next seven days. The fool card is usually getting ready to jump off the cliff in a traditional tarot deck uh, and just say, fuck it, basically. But I feel like you're getting a push to do something. Uh, I'm also picking up on a spirit guide that loves you unconditionally, G. For a lot of you guys, it's a maternal figure, a grandma, a mother. Uh, she's around you a lot. She may drop change, pennies or tokens or, uh, yeah, change this woman uh, when she's around. This woman used to cook or something a lot, cooked you meals. This woman's, uh, my condolence is divine masculine, but this woman is around you in spirit. Yes. Something about this punk ass chicken. You see the wings and then now the wings on the woman. Uh, what kind of shit is this? I don't know where these wings coming from y'all, but I see y'all kind of stop fucking with the chicken too. Uh, something about the wings. Okay. I feel like y'all aren't reconciling with someone else or somebody may be on your nuts uh, right now, Divine Masculine, or making like a, like holding on very tight, G. Not the person you're going to, but to, but someone else. You may reconcile, have reconciled with this person in the past or it was a, something you always did. You're doing something different in regards to your past and going towards your future here in the next seven days. Okay. Some of y'all are reconciling with someone. You guys are going to reach out to someone and tell, or they're going to reach out to you and tell you that they love you and let's do this like Brutus, G, is what this says. Okay, Divine Masculine. I believe it when I see it, buddy. Okay. Put one on this chicken. Put one on the chicken, stick a fork in it, it's done. Why is this, okay, that one flew right out. The sun, yeah, you happy to be done with some shit too, uh, is what this is. Happy to stick a fork in that bullshit, happy to quit this job, happy to leave this relationship, this situation, whatever. I'm very happy, and you know exactly what it is you're leaving, why you're leaving. This is clarity here with the sun. Usually this is a yes, or like exposure, or something like that, but uh, yeah, somebody baking chicken, G. Basically, I don't know. You go ahead, ma'am, a fucking sir. And let me get back to what I was saying. But yeah, something's been made very clear to you on why you're ending something, why a decision was made. Uh, it's just clarity here. A lot of you guys know your spirit guides are around you. They uh, bring good energy. Whoever your spirit guides, <clears throat> excuse me, divine masculine and, and ancestors are, they bring you very good energy. Uh, they make you happy or you can just feel their energy. I feel like they do. The ones that are passed on, like when you think about them or when they're around, it's probably a good feeling is what it's telling me or it should be. But I told y'all that before. When they come around, we're not supposed to get sad. So that's us being sad, <clears throat> still in the flesh. But when they come around in the spirit, they always bring good energy and make you feel better. They should. Well, depending on which ones you connected with, G. They should, though. Whatever relationship you are repairing Divine Masculine or going into, it's going to be very good. It's going to make you very happy and the other person. It's going to make your children happy. Uh, it's just like uh, a lot of good energy here, Divine Masculine. Honestly, shit, I don't have nothing bad to say. Put one on over here. What do you see? And, and uh, oh, sticking a fork in it. What is this? What is this? <clears throat> seven of wands valor this is like being resistant like hell no we won't go i told you somebody gonna be holding on to your ass boy uh you see this too sun card i'm telling you something's been exposed to you divine masculine what's been a, a struggle an obstacle or who has been a struggle or an obstacle in your life some blockage you see it very clearly in the next 
seven days <clears throat> excuse me and you end up blocking it or saying no to it or st like putting your foot down they said you put your foot down in regards to something but it's after you've gained some clarity about exactly what this is Somebody maybe have been trying to block your happiness, block you from a spiritual connection, block you from your purpose, uh, block you from reconnecting with the people that you love and that love you. Somebody or something, it was definitely like a, uh, they said was vexing, was vexing something for you. Okay. But shit, your ass on the bus, Booski. Yeah, transformed on it. That flesh is dying. That's what this is. Uh, and the spirit is kind of, taken over because this is the death of the flesh the 3d self kind of and then your ass got on the bus of course our whole 3d self can't be uh dead or else we'd be dead g so that's you know what i mean but whatever credentials or criteria they're asking for you to have in order to go to divine university it looks like you've done it something that you're shedding uh can't go to the school and you're willing to shed this shit just to be happy g i see you fighting for your happiness in the next seven days in the next, for sure, seven weeks, Divine Masculine, you will have put an end to something. For sure in seven weeks, G. You're going to see something come to an end, and you're going to be able to do something, be free, go do things that you love, work places that you love, build things, uh, build relationships with people that you love. Uh, no longer than seven weeks here. But I'm saying seven days. But yeah, they got the seven weeks out here too. So what's that, a month and three weeks or some shit like that? So by like the third week in March, something will have ended. Uh, you will know what this is by then. And you free to move about the cabin, they said. Okay. Let's put something on Nana, Big Mama, and the Day Trader. If somebody's going to like be in like a, I don't know, I see a protest or some shit like that or some type of marathon walk or something like that, make sure you wear good shoes, Divine Masculine. You could be uh, jogging, racing or something like that. Make sure you dress appropriate for the weather. You have good shoes on and all of that or Divine Feminine. Somebody is wearing, trying to jog in like, like Doc Martens or some shit, some shit like that. Somebody trying to jog in boots or uh, work. Uh, clothes or something. I don't know. Okay. Change your clothes. Okay. Okay. Put something on Nana Big Mama with the day trader. The sloppy titty bitch. Okay. That's the four of wands here. Some of y'all are going to, uh, and that's Janice Joplin, but that's the sloppy titty. Her titty falling out her shirt. Gee. That's why I call her that. You see that? There's no bra, no brassiere there. Uh, Divine Masculine, I ain't trying to talk about none of your people. But some of y'all gonna get invited to somebody's house. That house nasty as fuck, G. I don't know why it's so disgusting and gross. I don't know if this is your mama's house. I'm, a, I'm just gonna leave that alone, right? Because that's your mama, right? A baby mama, an auntie, a grandma. Somebody's house is very nasty. Uh, and they need to clean that shit up. I feel like they invite you over and you want to see this person. You want to connect with this person. But their house or something about them is nasty. Now, if this is not that, this could just be somebody who just freed in a motherfucker, divine masculine, real shit. They don't give a damn about nothing. They just love unconditionally. And I feel like you may be going towards this person. They're really, uh, they let loose, I heard. So I don't know. Some of y'all have this person living in your house, this sloppy, nasty person, okay? Or you live with this person. Uh, I feel like, I don't know. It just feel nasty in that motherfucker. It do. It feel like kids drop food and it's mud and I don't know, G. Like just all type of chicken bone. I don't know where you at, okay? It's not for everybody, but somebody damn sure living with a nasty broad or it's a nasty woman out here, okay? Ugh. Okay. Uh, some of you guys were resistant to leaving a home or didn't want to leave a home, sell a home, but you're going to anyway. Uh, I heard if it makes you happy. So some of y'all could be going through a divorce, a separation or something, something about a home. 
like, well, I wanted it or something like that. But I feel like someone's not able to keep a home in a separation. But whoever is like, like, uh, letting things go, which could possibly be you divine masculine, it does propel you into something that you've always wanted, wanted to do a place you wanted to go. And you do feel free. Y'all are coming up as the sloppy titty, uh, person, but it's just being free. Like let your titty swine, uh, basically is what this is. I mean, that's basically what that means. Somebody, Nana, Big Mama don't wear no bra when you come over at all. Her, I don't know. Anybody come over, she don't have on one. This is an older woman. This woman could wear moo's and shit or pajamas all day, but this woman refused to put on a bra, G, so. I, I don't know what else to say about that. That's not my rose-colored glasses card, but she has them on. So something about you seeing love uh, in a weird way, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days, you're going to kind of free yourself from whatever this uh, belief is, this way of thinking, but it's a pinnacle here. So it's not, it's really a way of being, you know what I mean? There's something that you're going to release that's not what you thought it was in order to go towards something that you're being pushed to go towards, period. Y'all are damn sure reconciling with somebody, but I swear I feel like this person house is disgusting, G. So I don't, if you're reckon, I don't know. I mean, I know Divine Feminine, this can't be you house, G. It can't be. It's like uh, punch stains and milk stains all on. The, I feel like this somebody who just let their kids spill shit, okay? I don't know what this has to do with you, Divine Masculine, but somebody house is just nasty, cuz, real shit. Uh, put something on the full car here with the temperance. Divine Feminine, if this you, clean your shit up. This this is horrible here, okay? Uh, put one on the full with the temperance. And I, I, Divine Feminine just got that shit. Y'all heard me shuffling the fuck out these cards, G. Uh, it's divine feminine where you're going towards. That's the leap of faith with the temperance card. Some of y'all are reconciling. Y'all walked away from somebody. Some of y'all ain't even reconciling with a divine feminine. You just didn't even go towards her in the first place. And I feel like you're being redirected towards that. Now I see y'all leaving the nasty woman house. This, whoever this nasty woman is, I don't know. It feels like a romantic partner now because Whitney mouth open. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's why you kept going to that shit. Uh, anyway, moving on, uh, divine masculine. Some of you guys have, yeah, someone's codependent on you. I feel like this person does not want you to leave. This could be a family member or a lover or a child or something like that. Uh, this codependency could be good or bad. If it's a kid, I mean, come on, it's a kid. They supposed to be codependent, but I feel like if this is a mother or a baby's mother, family member or something, you're going to end up uh, walking away from this person. Just because you see, like, they hold on way too tight. Like, you can't do what it is you want to do. I see some of you guys leaving a job that you love or people love you there. Maybe you don't love this job, but the people there, wherever you work, Divine Masculine, whatever you do, the people love you there. If you were to ever leave, uh, they'd be very sad. Uh, that place would go to shit. So a lot of you guys hold your job together, hold whatever it is you do. You hold that shit down. If you were to ever to quit doing that shit, uh, I heard the game would be lost without you. Damn. Okay, boo. What you do? Yeah, someone's going towards their, like, higher self. You had a lot of obstacles here, Divine Masculine. I feel like, uh, they were temptations, though. They feel kind of sexual or, like, material. Like that's what kept you wherever it is that you are. But this says you going to, you realize this doesn't make you happy. It's actually doing the opposite. It's not making you happy. Something that made you happy. You're going to realize it doesn't make you happy in, anymore in the next seven days. Yeah. Somebody to wear some fucking shoes. Oh, eight of cups. This the man walking and shit. Look at these. I don't know what you're doing in them. Uh, I don't know. Somebody needs some new shoes, okay? And I ain't trying to clown, but this is like, it's making me feel like it's, well, unless it's a homeless person. Some of you guys could be donating clothes to Vine Masculine or helping the homeless or something. That would be nice, okay? 
Uh, Cause you ain't gonna wear these shoes nowhere. I could tell by the way that the sole look. We either talking about S O L E or S O U L. I don't know what sole they're talking about, but something worn the fuck down, G. It's probably both. Some of y'all are tired. Uh, your soul is worn down, they said. From some relationship that was possibly toxic that you kept reconciling with. We know Bobby and Whitney wasn't good together, G. They weren't good for each other, uh, is what they said. They weren't good for each other. Uh, but they kept going back to each other. Reconciliation card with the Eight of Cups. Like a fool. Yeah. I don't know what that house looked like, but we saw what they showed her room and shit. You know what I mean? Later on and like, damn, Whitney, is that how you living? Yes, G. Somebody out here may have a drug problem too. Janice Joplin out here with uh, Whitney Houston, Divine Masculine. It could be a feminine energy. You may go visit this person and, or somebody just, it's a woman that ain't doing good, G. Or she won't, when you separate from this person, somebody goes down, G. And I'm not saying that for you to like, uh, stick around or feel bad about it or nothing, but expect whatever it is you expect from these people or this person when you separate, it does happen. And I feel like you still love this place, these people or whatever, but it's gonna be from afar, G. A lot of y'all are moving. Yeah, I keep I heard this song with uh, Divine Feminine, but I didn't say anything, but I keep hearing that, oh, I want to dance with somebody song. So somebody could be a dancer. <clears throat> I want to feel the heat sun card with somebody. Yeah, that's what it is, Divine Masculine. You don't feel the heat with somebody. With somebody that loves you, unconditional love. Yeah, that's what y'all looking for. Some of y'all are looking for that in a sloppy titty bitch, in a nasty woman, okay? I don't know. That's what they're saying, though. In a woman who's just unclean, G, in whatever way. Like I said, it could be a dirty soul, S-O-U-L, or just like, ugh. They said the bottom of somebody's feet dirty. I don't know. Y'all put your shoes on when you go outside. Come on, G. Uh, I don't know. Divine masculine. All right. Some of y'all are protesting some uniform or something they're wanting you to wear. It could be a mask. So you may see a protest, a protest, <laughs> protest uh, in regards to people in the Smurfacine mandate and uh, Smurf mask. Uh, some of y'all are refusing to do this shit. Okay. I see, I see people protesting in the street, walking off their job or something like that. I don't know what this has to do with you, but I see it. Put one on stick a fork in it is done. The sun, seven of wands. Bad blood, Taylor Swift. Yeah, man. Uh, Divine masculine between seven days and seven weeks. You will have figured out who it is that's trying to stop you from being happy here. Uh, you will end up having, I feel like you won't have any like, uh, like you won't hold any resentment or grudges, but there's damn sure bad blood with this person. Some of y'all are just going to stop being mad at someone, Divine Masculine, or someone needs to stop being mad at you because it's slowing their ass down. Somebody out here is like upset. They stay mad and shit. Uh, they keep reflecting on the past, uh, whatever didn't work out. And it pisses them off. Like, it fucks up their day. And it's some, like, way long ago ass shit. Somebody needs to get over this. Uh, you or someone else divine masculine. It's blocking them from work. Uh, and they keep trying to figure out and do things to make them happy. But it's because they keep dwelling on the past. You or someone else, we all do it. But somebody needs to stop doing this shit. Okay? Be careful, Divine Masculine. I don't like bad blood out here with this woman mouth open. Uh, somebody could have mouth sores or some type of STD or something. like. I don't like it with the sloppy titty. But none of this shit, G. Uh, protect yourself, Divine Masculine. There's a really nasty woman out here, G. I don't know what's wrong with her, okay? I just know y'all ain't gonna wanna work on this shit, plan or build with this anymore, whatever this is. Yes, damn sure, a woman. You got Rihanna and uh, Beyonce at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody uh, that's really uh, 
easy on the eyes they said but this person still been trying to so basically it's like looks and all this shit material and all the shit that you wanted and all this whatever it's not making you happy even like the baddest bitch in the world uh, is what I heard is not making you happy because a lot of y'all have had them some very good looking women out here Taylor Swift look good you know what I'm saying Whitney look good here uh, Janice I don't know you know maybe one day or or they let themselves go like I told you when you separate from these people or whatever but it's telling me it's just I don't know G whoever it is you do separate from yes they go down as far as they uh hit rock bottom for whatever it is you were supplying for this person uh they do have like a withdrawal or suffer or something like that but they come back up though if i move taylor swift over here with the prince of pentacles that's nine of pentacles so your mama gonna be okay your auntie whoever it is uh divine masculine okay that you are separating from that just needs to kind of get their life together they will it's like you kind of challenging them but in a it's like tough love g tough love basically Whoever you're going towards to this unconditional love, this person is single. This person has a really great job. This person could work in the medical field or do something uh, in regards to, they work on a computer, whatever it is they do. Or they work for themselves. They could be a teacher as well. Whoever you're going towards is like that motherfucker. Probably my bitch, but anyway. Your spirit guides are working with you. If you're reconciling, if you're reconciling with like a, uh, like a, you know, it's a spiritual union, like a divine feminine, uh, this is going to work out. You guys are different, period. But you guys are going to mix, uh, you guys are going to compromise. Uh, if you're reconciling with someone divine masculine and you're leaving someone else and going back to someone or whatever, or going towards to someone, going towards someone, excuse me, you and this person do have differences, differences in, I'm hearing art, music, clothes, uh, they said food, beauty, uh, where you come from, uh, where you're going, all this shit. There's a lot of differences between you and your person, but I feel like it's still unconditional love. It, that's kind of like what sets you free. I feel like you guys end up with someone you can't change, right? And I don't feel like you want to, but they want you to like be like that too. Like be you. I don't want you to change. I want you to be exactly who it is that you are. And I feel like y'all ain't used to that shit. Y'all used to people trying to stop you from being free. And I mean, I did say put some damn shoes on and a shirt. Now, yes, that's a little too free for the kid. But I mean, just being happy. Y'all ain't used to that. Or it's always about work or figuring something out or, you know, like it's never been about you is what I'm picking up on. And you want to dance with somebody. Okay. A lot of y'all are going to do something with children. Uh, I don't know what it is you're going to do, but you're going to do something for uh, children in like urban areas. Because this could be their mama, G. Real shit. And you loving on the kids. Like, I know your mama ain't shit or your daddy kid, but I love you. Some of y'all are going to like uh, work in like a youth center or do something like with the youth. She said, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way is what she said. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. I feel like y'all are about to do that. Some of y'all are going to work with children. That's so dope, Divine Masculine. I see y'all donating, uh, working, charity, all types of shit here. Uh, standing up for people's rights. Animal lovers out here. I see animal rights out here. Uh, all type of shit. Okay. It's almost like this is what you're gonna do, but this lifestyle is hella different from what you've been living. So some people uh, aren't gonna be able to deal with this change. Other people are gonna try to jump on board like they down with this shit, they gonna fall off. Some woman's gonna, for those who are like, uh, like activists in your community or you try to fix your community or something like that, somebody's gonna act like they down, right? But they don't wanna go there. <clears throat> they don't wanna be involved with that shit or nothing. They like the toxic divine masculine. They don't like this, uh, Christ-like divine masculine here. This one that glows and shit. So you're going to notice things are not working out with people because y'all aren't on the same uh, path anymore. You guys don't have the same vision. I feel like y'all never really did. It's just you, it wasn't activated in you uh, yet. That's all. Spiritual journey came out on top of Big Mama Nana. 
Prince of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody's mom or grandma that's passed on is around. This is my like spirit guy card. They're on a spiritual journey. They're in your home, especially if you work from home. Uh, there's a grandmother, great grandmother, or some ancestor there, divine masculine. It's definitely a feminine energy uh, here. Some of y'all, somebody, uh, somebody inherited, uh, someone's home and they tearing that motherfucker up. Like, so somebody like a grandmother or a mother passed down a home to a daughter or a son, it looked like trash. That mom or that grandma is very disappointed in whoever I'm talking to on how y'all treated that, this house. This woman worked hard for this house or this man day after day after day. And you going to treat it like sloppy titty bitch house? Like, come on, G. I feel like they come and just look at the shit. Like, ain't this, look at the damn garden. Like, I feel like that's how they come and look at some shit. Somebody needs to take some uh, pride in whatever was passed down to them from a, uh, which would now be an ancestor. Somebody needs to take care of Nana and Big Mama's house or Papa and, and Daddy's house, okay? Uh, Cause it's all fucked up. And they see this just so you know, in the next seven days, they do. It's a lot of spiritual activity out here, Divine Basculi. A lot of y'all don't know that somebody walks with you every single day. Let's see, they're like an actual angel, a spirit guy, ancestor, but someone or some angelic being walks with you every single day, G. You're on your spiritual walk, your spiritual journey, a lot of you. I just see y'all helping out. You may feel the urge to like want to help a lot of people, Divine Masculine. Like everybody you see that's just down and out, you may feel like compassion towards these people. Uh, you're starting to notice things that you weren't paying. Like, you know, like it's like driving by homeless people. And after a while, it just becomes something that you just drive by. You become numb to the shit. Uh, not you, though. You know what I mean? It's some shit you see. It's like you want to do something or you see kids or something in like a place or something that needs your help, your expertise. And it's going to start touching you, G. It is. This shit dope as fuck. We about to get to another school. Divine Feminine, just so you know, I still give. I don't always put it out there because you know how people are and shit. But we about to hit up another school uh, and just bless them and shit, right? Inner city shit. Some of y'all could be into like, uh, like they said, Big Brother, Divine Masculine. <clears throat> uh, this is dope. Shit, it just seemed like you helping out the community, helping out people, family, children. Uh, it makes you feel good though standing up for something or uh building something creating something fixing jesus was a carpenter boo okay uh so this doesn't surprise me that you have this energy at all four wands yeah that's like a table has four legs uh he helped the sick sloppy titty bitch it wasn't the healthy you know so i feel like that's where you are as far as like your giving is concerned it's to the less fortunate in the next seven days or somebody else this could be the person you're going towards uh that's like this as well but i feel like if y'all get together you're gonna be the same way or you and this person have this in common put one something on the full card with the temperance and whitney unexpected monies i know that's right boo she it now you walking away uh, from something divine masculine, I'm telling you, this came out in divine feminine yesterday when I asked about you, about the commitment coming towards her. This came out with a pleasant letter, okay? So you and this person, you going towards, your money gonna look good. I feel like you're uh, gonna fix something in regards to your money in the next seven days. If not in the next seven days, it's gonna be by April, G. You're gonna start to see a change in your money. I know you like, damn bitch, it's February. I know, but shit, that's what they had said, okay? Uh, if it hasn't started already, just by April, things will look up in regards to your money, G, okay? Some of y'all are leaving, yeah, like I said, some type of relationship that was based on strictly material things, what you see, what you saw, what looked good. Uh, some of you guys are being led away from that. Wherever you are being led, though, it's gonna take you to the same thing, but honestly, uh, you're going to have it honestly, they said. Some of y'all just run into money. I told you some woman was dropping coins or somebody who passed on was dropping coins and change. Told you they are. You may see it on the street. 
<clears throat> you may see it in your closet or wherever you take your shoes off in your home. You may see change there. It's a woman that's passed on that's dropping this change, y'all. Some of you guys are buying someone a home. Or it's like I said, somebody got to sell a home. But I feel like somebody's gifting someone a home as well. They going to treat it like shit, though. I don't know what's going on. Uh, that's the only thing, man, when you give people shit. Well, not necessarily, right? But sometimes when you give people shit or they're just used to always people giving them shit, they don't know how to take care of it. That's why kids always crash cars that their parents bought them and shit. But if a kid had to work at fucking Dairy Queen and shit for three years to save up for that car, they're probably more careful with it. Uh, this is this type of shit. I feel like you're leaving a situation like that, Divine Masculine, going towards the kid who had to work at Dairy Queen. You know what I mean? Like they work for everything they have. You and this person are going to end up together. But I feel like you are this person as well. I don't know how you ended up with these other... Why you come over here messing with these people, right? I don't know why you come over here messing with these other folk but you do or you did and now you have nothing in common with them only thing you have in common with them is money but it's like their love of it and your uh providing of it or vice versa they was giving it to you you love it and they were providing it somebody is done with that shit they can do bad by their damn self is what i heard okay some of y'all are going back to work uh, going back to the office, going back to wherever the site, they said the site is, you're going back on site. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see some of y'all out here, uh, online and shit with a fake ass profile, but we ain't going to get too much into that. But I, I, we don't need to see you. This is not being able to see someone here, not seeing someone stick a fork in it is done two of swords is what this is with the lady with the blindfold somebody can't see you but you could see them or this is somebody spying on you divine masculine somebody watches somebody watches them work or something like that watches what they do what they're building or something like that behind a, a fake profile if it's not a fake profile it's just a profile with no pictures G. it's just blank like i don't know or it's behind like a work uh profile or some type of business name or something like that someone spies on someone here with that i see unions going on strike i see people striking for raises more pay so i don't know uh they said the union so some of y'all are with the union i see a protest or y'all planning some type of strike or some shit Somebody's going to be unsatisfied with the amount of money that you give them. I don't know what that's about either, but that's what they said. They don't want what you're giving them. They figured you give them more. They're not happy. Somebody's not going to be happy with whatever you leave them with, give them, let them have. It's almost like, well, that's what you said was the whole problem. Now I'm letting you have it. So let's say you're separated from somebody and it's like, <coughs> the person's like, <coughs> You're not taking my money, my home, my this, my that. I will fight you. And you're like, okay, well, you can have it then. You know what I mean? I'll just re-up on my shit. This person still ain't going to be happy. It's the fight. Someone likes to fight or argue or make shit just difficult, G. They do. In the next seven days, this could be you. Or your job. Okay. Something's going to fly in someone's mouth. Somebody who just ride with their mouth open or always, you know, how you see people in their mouth just stay open, like close that motherfucker. Like, why you just ride like that? Like, or just sit with your mouth just open. Something flying in this motherfucker one day. Uh, I don't know, like a net or a fly or something. Somebody going to learn too. keep your mouth closed. Or this is figuratively speaking about someone speaking, but I feel like a fly flies in someone's mouth because they just sit there with their shit open. You know, you've seen people like that. Like, why do you do that? Anyway, stick a fork in it is done. Son with the seven of wands and Taylor Swift. Yeah, whoever's house is nasty, I wouldn't eat there, G. Something with the food being left out. Or like, yeah, like bacteria or something. Divine Masculine on some real shit. 
uh, dog feces, I heard, cat feces, and I don't feel like it's just, I don't know, G. I don't, I can't even say I know where the fuck it is, because I don't, but they just said don't eat the food at this person's house. I, I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't sit on the couch neither, or I'd be like, you're good? Cool, I'm out. You see how he threw up that thumb? Like, no, nah, I don't need no water, no seat, nothing, just checking on you. That's all, literally, uh, something like that. I don't know, ew. Okay, put one over here. You got the good gentleman car with meetings came out. On top of the stick of fork in it is done seven of wands and eight of pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys are going to like refuse to like uh, work with someone, work at a company, work with a boss, work with some regulations, policies or something like that. You're done compromising with whoever or whatever this is, divine masculine, or it's done compromising with you. I see somebody not wanting to talk or meet up or nothing. It's somebody like, we could just talk about it. No, the fuck we can't. Uh, there's nothing to talk about here. I see you guys just not wanting to fight for something anymore, Divine Masculine, or fight, period. This could be like, just, I mean, anything. It's just like, I feel tired, G. It could be this fucking chicken. Do whoever eating it, that's what's doing it, making you tired like this. But uh, I feel like you're just uh, tired of always uh, like dealing with people that go against the grain. Like they have to go against everything you do, say, love, feel, everything. It's draining you. Uh, crazy shit is that they're saying it's strengthened you, but I know how you feel. I can feel the drain from you. But technically this says this is making you stronger. You got the strength card with the sun. That would be like double strength with the seven of wands. It's building up something in you. Character, spiritual muscle, emotional muscle or something. And it's preparing you to meet someone else. You're about to work something out or collab or something with someone else. But you are going to stop working with someone at a job or with someone else romantically, whatever, in order to go towards something else. You're fighting to get towards whatever this is. Or you will fight to get towards whatever this is. Cause you got desires. I know, I know, I know. That's what they said. Okay. I see somebody holding a dog hostage. I'm telling you, are y'all fighting over a dog or a baby uh, with someone in the next seven days? And then you just give up. Cause you realize it's, it's nothing to do with the dog or the baby or whatever this person is like making a big fuss about you realize it's not about that this is somebody that's just maybe desperate for love attention or something like that uh and you pick up on this if you haven't already but now that you've picked up on this say you have and you're like i already peep game none right then that's why it's hard for you it's like once you recognize that who your enemigo is and say you've been laying with them working with them it makes it difficult to still work or do anything with this person. So I see you kind of being pushed out. That's why I said it's a spirit guider here that's kind of giving you a push to do something. So you may get a new job. Like I said, you met someone new, new home. Something comes up to where like you can leave something. It won't be as difficult. Uh, a lot of your spiritual gifts are heightening divine masculine. As you shed something, shed people, places, and things, you're going to notice yourself more intuitive, uh, that you are more intuitive, that you're seeing things different. Uh, you're figuring shit out in people and all types of shit. Uh, you're definitely enhancing in regards to your spiritual gifts for sure. Somebody may want to buy a dog from you. Uh, if you sell dogs, uh, like someone may comment on your dog and ask you if you're willing to breed or sell the, your dog or some shit like that. I don't know. In the next seven days. Some of y'all, this dog is what made this house nasty. Mmm. I don't know. That's kind of a strange reading, Divine Masculine, but okay. Uh, I don't, I mean, let's see where you're going. I mean, I know, uh, so let's see the person you're going towards because I pulled who was coming towards Divine Feminine. So let's just see because now we'll just see about you going towards her. 
okay? Because I don't know what else to pull on that shit. Your shit pretty chill. Your money look good. Uh, looks like you're fighting for your happiness. You're on your spiritual journey. You're donating. You're helping others. I mean, shit, sound like a winner to me, Booski. It does. Kind of uneventful, but I mean, shit, no news is good news to me, really. Uh, usually your shit be crazy. Uh, where, who's Divine Masculine headed towards? Let's see. Or what? Because some of y'all is just money. Some of y'all gonna buy a dog. Uh, just gonna get a dog and say fuck everybody. Here. So, uh, this is who you're headed towards. So, this is somebody who is mind-blowing, I heard. This person thinks outside the box. This person could be silly, goofy, you know what I mean? A little quirky, uh, whoever it is you're going towards. But this person could blow your mind. You blow my mind, baby, yeah. You blow my mind, yeah. Gap man. This person could have a gap. You could have a gap. Girl, you knocked me out. Yeah, I don't know. This person is a little feisty, uh, whoever you're going towards. This person has nice eyebrows, uh, whoever you're going towards. I don't know if that's a thing for you, uh, Divine Masculine. They may wear very little makeup, if any at all. But uh, this woman don't have on much, and I like how natural her brows kind of look. I feel like you're going towards somebody who's naturally, like, you know, or does little to 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 themselves like natural uh free give me another one pretty pink baby blue why don't why don't you right teach me something new yeah this is a new person uh like i said this person mind-blowing this person whoever you're going towards i feel like y'all can teach each other something but this person can teach you things uh whatever it is they say or teach you is i mean shit it's out of this world this person could have a child. One child or a baby could have, I mean, have they could have a young child. You could already have a child with this person. Whoever this person is, they uh, sacrifice something to be like this. So friends, family, uh, lifestyle or something. They don't fit in Divine Masculine, whoever this is, this person you're going towards is what I'm being told. They just different. Pull up to the scene with they selling missing, basically. Uh, clarify this, who is this Divine Masculine is going towards? I feel like your reading gonna be short, but it's actually a good thing, G. Like there was no shit in it i mean people trying to stop you from being happy but that's gonna be forever you know what i mean so it didn't really look like it was doing anything though you seem to be prevailing over all of that and it's making you stronger you know clarify uh, who this is divine masculine is going towards in the next seven days Got the chariot and the musician here. Damn, okay. Whoever it is, make shit work, jerk. Whoever it is. This person could be a musician. Uh, cause um, uh the magician is my musician card or some type of entertainer. They could uh have a platform or just be known for something in regards to whatever it is they do. Chariot card, their work. Uh this person impresses you, divine masculine. This person loves music. This person listens to music in the car a lot or wherever they are this person could be a writer or they drive lyft or uber too on the side i don't know that's for someone but somebody does that as well this is who you're going towards uh whoever this is is going to teach you how to manifest too this is or you teach them teach me something new this man looks like he can't figure it out but when teach me something new is here, I feel like he does ghost ride the whip. I heard. Yeah. Your ancestors are, uh, bringing you towards their <laughs> whipping you. Remember I was like, you're getting like a spiritual push to do something. And they said, ghost ride the whip, but they're showing me like a entity with like a whip. Gee, I hope this ain't no old ass slave owner. They showing me, but that's what the fuck they showing me is somebody with a whip. Okay. Uh, but it's to move you towards this person. Okay. <laughs> This person could travel for work, Divine Masculine.
Yep, look at you. And you here with the creep squad. Look at you. You trying to figure out how to go towards this person. Because I don't feel like you can pick them up with the, hey, so what are you doing later? Like, I don't think that worked. You you may connect kind of with this person, but not really and shit. You know what I mean? Their hands barely touching like nothing. I don't know. This is somebody you can't really, uh, if this person is really like this, right, and they mind blowing and all this other shit and just kind of on some other shit, I feel like uh, this is somebody you're going to have to approach different. Whatever, However you approach them is very successful, though. Whatever you end up doing. Some of you guys send this person music or there's something about music with this person. Okay. Who is this person that divine masculine is going towards here? Clarify this mind blowing, pretty pink baby. Yeah, this person's an outcast, whoever this is, but I told you they had to sacrifice something. I don't really feel like they, uh, I, I take that back. They didn't have to sacrifice something to be who they are, but it's like, a lot may have been taken from this person, Divine Masculine. You know, they lost a lot. This person may be a little, don't you know that I loco, right? This person may be a little crazy, uh, this feminine energy, uh, or then did some wild ass shit, okay? Whoever this is that you're going towards. They seem interesting. This person got a lot of stories uh, to tell you, or you have, I feel like y'all have stuff in common, but you're different. I don't know. A lot of people are trying to figure out how to approach this person, Divine Masculine. Who is this that Divine Masculine is going towards? A lot of people watch this person or look at this person, Divine Masculine. Yeah, Riri came out. I saw her when I first started shuffling. Yes. Everybody wants to know what the fuck this person is doing, who they're, it's Rihanna. I mean, not like it's Rihanna, but I'm saying it's that type of thing. Like we're always waiting for a song, some news, some something, lingerie, something, girl, makeup, something, right? We're always waiting. This is the person you're going towards. This person is very creative. Yeah, she been waiting on that sunshine, boy. I think I need that back. Yeah, can't do it like that. No one else gonna get it like that. Okay, Divine Masculine. This person gonna keep it interesting, okay? Uh, they're talented at a lot of things. The magician with the seven of cups is somebody who can, uh, that's also an illusion too. Uh, so be careful, whoever this person is, divine masculine. But I feel like te with the teach me something new, I feel like this person can teach you a lot of things. They're gifted, they're talented at a lot of things, especially with the chariot and the seven of cups. They have a lot of great ideas. Uh, whoever it is, you're going to no wonder all that fucking cha-ching-ching -ching was falling out that wagon like that. Uh, where your spirit guy is trying to take you. You're going to make some real good money. You guys are going to create something. Uh, a lot of you are going to have a child with this person and it's unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, is what they said. Uh, yeah, sweet prince of the ghetto is what they said. You're going to have a little sweet prince with this person. Some of you. Uh, okay. Yeah, your kiss tastes like amaretto. Seven of cups. That could be liquor, alcohol. This person could drink, smoke. Uh, if this person smokes, they smoke joints. Or, you know what I mean? I don't know, but that's what these look like. Little joints in the back where the candles are. I don't see, like, big blunt smoking or none of that shit. Maybe they drink a little... This person thinks about you already, Divine Masculine. Seven of Cups. You're the one that I dream about all day. Okay, Divine. This person's already waiting on you, <clears throat> Divine Masculine. You're the one that I think about always. My love is your love. Your love is my love, love. Yeah, this person loves music. Uh, this is my DJ card. Compandi replay. Yes. They could be from the uh, island or foreign divine masculine, or you could be somebody is here. Somebody could be Asian or just foreign, period. Y'all could be different races. Okay. 
they really did clear out some energy in the prayer event. You see, ain't no fuck shit came out, like, at all. Uh, but I prayed for y'all hard, uh, not to be like that, because I always do, but this one, I, I like, put y'all in mind, Divine Masculine, you specifically. Uh, so it's, it's odd that this, I mean, it's not odd, but it's like, wow, you know? You can make anything happen with this person. They said the possibilities are endless. Seven of Cups with the Magician and the Chariot. It's good all the way around, G. Whoever it is you're going towards, they've created something for themselves. Whoever this is. Made a name for themselves, a business, uh, a talent or something. Like, they do something that they'll be known for or they are known for already. death card yeah like I said this person done lost a lot G whoever you're going towards yeah this person has been through a lot of sadness G they work through it though they work through uh sadness illness uh bad relationships good relationships yeah sick again uh whoever this is uh divine masculine can weather the storm they said this person could be a psychic as well, Divine Masculine is what this says. This person could be a medium. They could communicate with the other side, possibly. Teach me something new with the Magician card and the Death card. This person may have special gifts, special talents. But this person done lost a lot of jobs, a lot of people. Uh, they done took some L's, G, but who hasn't? Real shit. They've stopped doing a lot of things. Seven of Cups with the death card. That's why I said this person, if they do smoke, his joints are very little. They ain't out there. You know what I mean? Like death to all that bullshit. This person's a realist, a realistic person, but they are a realist. Like they don't believe in all that, you know what I mean? Fairy tale, fake ass shit. Like, you know what I mean? I believe in manifestation, but there is a difference between that and just magician work. Uh, this person is realistic about life. Whoever this is, you're going towards divine masculine. Okay. This person could deal with sadness a lot because it's the Richard Dreyfus, Mr. Holland's Opus for Draw Itchy Eyes. I wear my mama's Glendale Community College t-shirt uh, card with this sadness card. This is somebody that kind of gets gloomy. They get in the mood. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This is like Christ Consciousness card. Like they've been left, abandoned. I don't know, Divine Man. Whoever you're going towards Divine Masculine has been like hurt, G. This person saw death at a young age uh, or has, I don't know, analogy. some things they have blocked out completely. Uh, this sad. This is who you're going towards, though. I don't want to get into that too much. Uh, this person is deep, whoever that is you're going towards, Divine Masculine. They just been through a lot, G. Uh, okay, let's brighten up the mood, buddies. Let's pull on your money. Uh, real quick and then we'll go because I know y'all care about that give me some financial messages for divine masculine three of swords so something's being cut out or you need to cut some things out yeah all these holes lined up at your door that's what this is that's what this card means these are also things piling up bills uh all types of shit so there may be a little debt around divine masculine uh, you probably need to knock that out. Cut all that shit out as far as getting it out of the way. You can't do shit about it because you've already accumulated it, whether it's the holes or the bills and shit, right? Uh, I feel like you're knocking things out, catching up with things. Uh, this is also like emotional buildup. And this is OPP as well, other people's problems. I feel like y'all are definitely separating from that. They're telling me you separating from uh, other people's problems and taking care of other people and then being codependent on you, you'll notice that your money, energy, and time will start to increase. So as you remove things, uh, you make room for other things. And I feel like your financial abundance is one of them. Give me another one. In regards to this finances, four pinnacles. Yeah, this is cutting back on shit, saving shit. This is the cookies in the jar preserving. This is celibacy, but this is holding on to things that you deem valuable. I cherish them. I preserve them. This is like a savings account, saving money, cutting back on things. Yeah, cookies and shit. <laughs> Basically, uh, faux and shit and eating all this uh, shit. Y'all be eating good. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all do. So 
Some of y'all eat better than uh, some woman, I heard. Somebody actually eats before they come home so they don't have to feed some broad, G. Or some broad don't be all up in their food. I don't know what that's about. Or you eat different from someone. Like your uh, diet is different from someone else's. I don't know. Or I don't know, G. I just see you, you need to cut back on shit. Shit you know you don't need to be my G. That's all. It says you the emperor, though. But you know this already, yeah, with the judgment card. Because whenever you do spend it, they say this is a big, rich town. Yeah, you just can't help it, can you? But uh, they said when you do spend it, you always feel bad after. Like, damn, I know I shouldn't have spent that shit. Uh, I feel like you're going to get out of that energy, though. Because that's not really a good energy to be in, Divine Masculine. We all do it, right? Like, fuck, I shouldn't have spent that shit. And, but I feel like that should be a fleeting thought, right? Because why? <laughs> why shouldn't you have bought it? Uh, do you deserve it is probably where it starts from. Do you believe that you can manifest this money back or whatever this is uh, and it not be a burden on you, this purchase or wherever it is you're going? That's the real issue. It's not that you shouldn't have bought it. You know what I mean? It's the feeling of do you deserve it? You know what I mean? Meaning how you feel about it yourself. Not saying do you deserve it? Like, you know, you know, that type of shit. But like how you feel about it. We all do that shit though. Like, damn, I knew I shouldn't have bought that shit. But then you kind of snap back like, it's all good, G. It's just money. It's just this. Watch me re -up. It's like the way you think about something, right? I feel like it's going to uh, help you with your finances. But also you cutting back on things, too. I mean, that's why I said uh, you got to be a little realistic here, too. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to eat out all the time. And, you know, like, come on, G. Give me something on his finances. Two of Pentacles. So this is my optometrist card. This is seeing things clearly, readjusting your eyes. Some of y'all are readjusting where you spend your finances, who you're giving it to, what you're paying for. Is it really worth it? Do I really? It's like Netflix, Hulu, you know what I mean? Like shit like that you may be cutting back on. Like I said, eating out, uh, helping people that can help themselves. Cause crazy shit is, I saw you donating and helping people that couldn't help themselves. Like, uh, people who are dealing with poverty and things like that. That's, I feel like you re-up, honestly, when you do shit like that. But this is you thinking about, like, what can I cut back on? You know what I mean? Who, what, all of that shit. This turns into the six of pentacles. So your money is going to increase. But you're just gonna, it's all tied into your time, energy, effort, your spirituality, and everything, G. How you connecting with the shit, you know? And I feel like y'all are figuring, it's like when you cut bad shit out, right start spending your money on good things like fruit and shit like that you know what i mean water uh shit like that you're gonna notice your money start to increase because you're spending your money on good things spending your money on just like liquor alcohol throwing it on bitches asses and titties i mean it's cool every now and then it is i ain't gonna lie uh but it's like don't expect to really manifest off of that and manifest more money off of that energy so just be mindful what you're spending it on uh it's just an energy on a piece of paper g so you going out there donating clothes to people and helping children and all the being big brothers and all this other shit y'all been doing, that shit comes back in money, uh, just so you know, because that's really what you're manifesting, but that it's just energy. So you are working for that. It just comes back in cha-ching-ching. -ching. It does. Okay, I'm not supposed to say that. Okay. It, it increases divine masculine. The more uh, you go forward towards something, right? Your higher self, what it is you came here to do uh, and be with who it is you're supposed to be with and then the place, time, situation, home, all of that, your money does increase. You're only four pinnacles away from the 10 of pinnacles here when I'm talking about your finances. So definitely you letting some things go, releasing some things, right? Saving, right? Uh, preserving, conserving, reserving, right? It's a balance. Uh, your money picks up. One more. If you were worried about money, justice card came out. Some of y'all got legal issues. Y'all need to handle that shit. Like, get that shit out the way. Taxes. <sighs> Motherfuckers. Right? 
uh, all that shit, it's like those things need to be handled. It sucks because it's like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather cut my fucking fingers off than deal with that shit. But it's like, yeah, get it out the way. These are like uh, responsibilities, Divine Masculine. You're going to notice that you're taking care of your responsibilities first. You may think that you end up with less money, but you don't. You actually end up with more. I don't know why it works that way, but it does. Especially if you uh, take care of all your shit first, right? And then you got the nerve to help other people. Yeah, your money does. It's just spiritual law, G. You just have to see it that way. Optometrist card with the justice card. You have to see it that way in order for it to manifest that way. It doesn't sound logical or plausible in the 3D world because normally when you spend some shit, bitch is gone, right? But that's not how God works, depending on how your heart is. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, I was working at UC. Dude, I was uh, exempt. I still owe the IRS, G. On some real shit, I was exempt for years working at UCLA. I couldn't even afford to, like, pay them motherfuckers then. It was that bad, and I was working at one of the best hospitals, G. Real shit. But God was like, you still need to make them kits for them people. And I'm like, um... I don't know if you heard me say I O D I R S G. Like, do you see? Like, he like still do the shit. I don't give a damn. They gonna be there. I'm like, true shit, right? I've been doing it ever since, and I ain't had no problems, G. I was doing it then when I'm. I still owe them motherfuckers. But what I'm saying is, I ain't really had no issue with money. But it's like, just do what he tells you to do. That's why I said you got that spiritual push. Whatever it is, it sounds crazy, G. It sounds crazy like Noah build a ark even though it ain't rain since Skippy was a puppy in this bitch, right? And everybody go, they're all gonna laugh at you, right? That type of shit. Uh, I'm telling you, Divine Masculine, it's just, that's the way it works. Your spiritual health is your wealth, G. Some of y'all are definitely going to separate from some people and just like in some contract with people, work contracts, marriages, things like that, uh, that are draining you energetically which manifests on a financial level mentally it it manifests on a financial level y'all are you are the provider the masculine energy so i mean i'm not surprised that you guys focus on money i don't really take that as a bad thing it's when you start loving and the shit and all that when it becomes a bad thing but this is you kind of like uh kind of OPP shit it's like other people's problems have now because other people's judgment karma their money woes have kind of attached to you because it's telling me you a great manifester here uh you can do it when you focus so the right way though not focus on it like I got to have it right on the 3d like you know what I mean like give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar type shit no not on that level but like on it's just money Money could be in any form. You know what I mean? Uh, so this paper, this credit card, this Bitcoin, this whatever, this whatever the fuck it is, whatever form it comes in, it, that's not even really what money is, is what they're telling me to tell you. Money is an energy. How valuable do you see yourself? Because uh, then you'll start giving yourself to people in that way or won't. You know what I mean? You'll save. It's almost like a savings account, but you're saving it in regards to yourself. I'm telling you, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like you saving yourself, putting your spiritual self in a spiritual savings account, right? Uh, it manifests some money for you, G. I feel like y'all gonna start figuring this out if you haven't already. It's like a smarter, not harder type thing. All right. Give me one for Divine Masculine's money. Y'all are cutting out karmic shit. Karmic shit will help you manifest your money. We've always been taught that working hard, working to the bone for years and years and years, back breaking work and shit is what helps you manifest money. And it does, but it doesn't help you be happy though too. I feel like y'all want money and y'all want to be happy and free and ain't nothing wrong with that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. It should be like that. Why should you be burdened by something that you need to survive, G? Uh, I feel like that's the tactic, you know what I mean? Because people look at money as like what it actually is, you know what I mean? But that's also side shit. There is no spoon, basically, yes, is what they said. Uh, that scene in The Matrix, when she bent that spoon with her mind, he said, how do you do that? She said, first you got to realize there is no fucking spoon. 
First, you got to realize there is no dollar bill. There is no $5 bill. There is no $20 bill. If they said, dude, on some real shit, when they overthrew uh, Saddam Hussein, right? This was like, whenever they did that, right? I happened to be working at Starbucks at that time. And one of my uh, customers came in and he was like uh, from, what was the, where was that? Iraq or something like that? Yeah, he was from there. But after they took the man, the money was in no good. And so he gave me what he had in his pocket. I got like a... Uh, Money with Saddam Hussein's pictures all on it and shit. I always kept that shit. But it's like, that that means nothing now. Just like you see how I just went away just like that. He just gave it to me. Like, it's useless now. Same shit. There is no dollar bill. There is no $5 bill. There is no none of that shit. It's like you. Okay? E I know it's a little, like, out there. But I feel like y'all know what I'm saying. That's my moon card. That's also the ace of wands, your intuition. Uh, your creativity, your passion for shit, right? How you see it. This is seeing your passion, seeing your creativity, seeing uh, deeper within things into like the spiritual law, dipping into the spiritual bank. Your spiritual bank is full, but you don't have access to it until you like shed some of your 3D self. It's out here. They say they store it up, G. In heaven right? Where they don't get moth eaten and rusted. That is the spiritual law. That's what it says. It never said you have to die to get them. And people always make it out like you got to go to heaven to get your riches and shit. No, you don't. It ain't never said that. Okay. That's some raggedy motherfucker shit right there. No. What's the, what good is it there? What can I do with it then? You know what I mean? That makes no sense. Uh, this is y'all looking at it like this. Uh, y'all know what y'all need to cut back on, cut out, stop doing or whatever this time. Cause you probably done this before, you know what I mean? But you was kind of like on some raggedy shit before. Like you different this time. Uh, you pull up to the scene with your selling missing now. You know what I mean? Like it's different. You're going to notice like, uh, you get your shit back faster or you're more clear and know where you're going. Like, uh, money is drawn to you now. Money's going to start coming to you. Divine masculine. Look how she chilling, G. This is somebody who knows that their treasures are stored up. Like, I really don't have to do anything but think good thoughts, help others. You know what I mean? Stay on what I need. Like, that's what the law said. So let me just chill and start just cleaning shit out of my life that don't need to be there. And money starts coming towards you, G. It does. Uh, we don't know why it happened like that. Uh, moon card. It's just... Shit, you divine. I mean, shit, what you, it don't work for everybody like that. But we talking about you. Shit, sweet prince of the ghetto. We talking about you, okay? So it works for you. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Yeah, when you start going after real things, uh, you're going to see your money increase. It's like when you start treating yourself better, but we haven't been taught that. That's a waste of money is what they said. Treating yourself better, taking a day off or sleeping in or going to the beach on a Thursday. How fucking dare you? There's slave work out there to be done. Back breaking, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, and it's still pennies and shit. You still live in check to check and not everybody, but I'm saying shit, most of us, that's how it was or that's how it is. You know what I mean? We don't know why. Uh, but that's like a psyche thing, a mental thing. The way that we're looking at things, that's what keeps this shit running the way it does. On some side, no shit. But I feel like y'all breaking out of that shit. It's just your gift. It's something that you can do. You do have this superpower, Divine Masculine. You really do, G. You're going to start seeing the beauty in things that don't look so beautiful. That helps you manifest your money as well. They don't look as like on the outside, you know, that's like throwing walnuts away. Uh, but the, the actual protein, the shit is on the inside of the shell, but it's like somebody just chucking the whole fucking shit. You know what I mean? When the goodness is on the inside, I feel like y'all are going to start seeing things like that. That's how money is. Uh, they could say it's a walnut <laughs> tomorrow or whatever, but it's what's on the inside. Like, what does it represent? Uh, that's how you're going to manifest this shit. I'm telling you. Easier said than done. I know, because I'm making it sound like, wow, that's it, nut? Hell no. Shit, I wouldn't be in no motherfucking apartment if it was. Shit, like, come on, people. Okay? We talking about being realistic here, too. But I have noticed a change, though. You will see a change. The nun has seen a change and shit. It's some real shit. Because, uh, I mean, shit. 
bills be due, all that shit. It's always like, but if you notice uh, convent, right, divine masculine, we're always okay. You know what I mean? We still here the next day, every seven days. We still here, we done ate good, all types of shit. So everything we did worry about and worried about not having, we actually do have it. So that we've seen it, we're here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's actual proof because in this moment right now, you are okay. And if you say you're not okay, then I mean, then you are probably looking at this shit wrong. Cause how the fuck you got internet? You probably eating cookies. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, eh, that's on some other shit though. You got some more, uh, thanking God to do is what they said. You'll start to see an increase to whoever that is. That complain all the motherfucking time. I used to be that motherfucker too. That's why I know. Uh, just a pessimistic attitude. Okay, some of y'all that is hindering you, Divine Masculine, from getting this money, G. Bitter about some shit. Legal shit, divorce, child support. Separation, taxes, fees, loans, uh, all type of shit. I see it, but it's like Caesar's law. We live here. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar is what Christ said. I mean, shit, you ain't got no choice. But he never said you can't re up on God's side. It's like Caesar's going to collect what he's going to collect, but you don't worship Caesar G <laughs> basically. So it doesn't matter. Give it to that motherfucker shit. You could get it back. We just been taught that you can't, or that it's hard to get shit back, but they're telling me for you, for us. Cause we, we different G. I saw this earlier and I was like, let me keep shuffling because this came out in Divine Feminines too uh, with that gaining a lot of money uh, when I saw that you were coming towards her and you got the same card. You got the same cards. Yeah. Some of y'all just need to go on pay that shit, G. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just go on pay that shit, send the shit in or whatever it is you got to do. Some of y'all, it is something's going to deplete when you pay like some large something. I see it here. And you're like, I'm going to be back in my uh, do-rag or my sloppy. You may, G. You just might and shit, but that shit is off the table. You cleaning out your closet type shit. It's like clearing. They're telling me divine masculine because you're not the same person uh, that you were when you accumulated all this shit. You're assuming that it's going to deplete you like it would had you been this person in the past, but you're awakening now. So you're really just clearing your plate of shit. I don't feel like it's going to be the same. So don't look at it like that. Expect God to do something different. Even if you do have to pay all some money or lose some shit and the, whatever the fuck is going on, they're telling me it's the beginning of something. You got the full card, but normally in the 3d matrix world, this would not be the beginning of something. This would be like, dun, right? Doom. But they're telling me if you look at it like that, it possibly could be, but it's not though. It's how you hold this shit inside of you. Like. What you choose to like cap after that. Like this is the last time that this happens. This the, like you know it though. You know so it's cut out for good. This is the last time fill in the blank. I feel like you're a brand new person G. Feel like a brand new person. Yeah. But I don't care. I'm in love. And you in love too, boy? Yeah. In a new direction. That's the whole point. Yeah, there goes my baby right there. Yeah, new shit is happening. I'm telling you, it's the beginning of something. But normally in the regular world, you would still be that raggedy motherfucker. Like all of us. Like, man, if I spend all this, I ain't gonna have shit. That's kind of how I feel about my car. I could easily buy one, G. But I'm like, I don't have a bill. I don't drive anywhere. What the fuck is the point? That's just extra money that I'm spending when I really shouldn't be looking at it like that, right? Because that's just what the fuck I just told y'all on some real shit. I really could. It's this type of shit that we do uh, every day. It's like, well, why buy, sell the cow or whatever it is? Buy the cow when I could get the milk for fucking free. But it's like... It's not going to hurt you though. You know what I mean? Unless you think it is in the past. Yes, it probably would have, but don't look at it like that. Even back then when I was telling y'all I was exempt and had I had this attitude, even then I probably could have made it work. I feel like it was my attitude. It wasn't the job. It wasn't any of that shit. That's what this is. It's just spiritual law. Like, you know, being burdened by the shit. So divine masculine, uh, you are opening up my friend. You're going to get intuitive messages about your money and which way to go, who to give to, who not to give to, what's a karmic situation, what could uh, benefit you, what can't. Listen to that in regards to your money in the next seven days, okay? 
All right, Divine Masculine, that's been your reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Masculine, getting no fit nucks. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Uh, tarot. My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.